One of you sent me a video in which flying attendant talking about the most curious things in aviation and uh, you also asked me if I can explain if it is true. First topic about which she talking about is uh, oxygen for the passengers. But first let's take a look on the video. If you're scared of flying, don't watch this video. Here are some terrifying things I've learned as a flight attendant that have actually made my fear of flying even worse. Number one, you know those oxygen masks that are right above your seats? Yeah, those only have 12 minutes of oxygen in them. And as if that wasn't terrifying enough, I've talked to the maintenance people and they even say that those things have never been checked, so who even knows how good that oxygen even is in that tank? First, let me clear one thing. Passenger aircraft is not a jet fighter because passenger aircraft is pressurized during whole duration of the flight, which means that you can be in a flight altitude from 30 to 40,000 feet, which is equi equivalent to 9,000 to 12,000 meters. And inside of the cabin will be pressure, like if you are in the altitude around uh, 8,000 feet, which is around 2,400 meters. For most of the people, this is more than enough for breathing normally. Compared to jet fighter, the cabin is not pressurized that much as a passenger aircraft, and that's why they need to wear oxygen mask during whole flight, because uh, oxygen in such a height is not sufficient for pilot to breathe normally. But let's go back to passenger airplanes. Why actually do we need this oxygen mask? Well, reason behind is safety. As I mentioned before, the airplane is flying in altitude between 30 to 40,000 uh, feet, which means that there you most probably will not be able to breathe. And in case of uh, sudden or slow decompression, uh, this can be a huge problem. That's why pilots, in case of decompression, will gonna release this mask manually or they're gonna be deployed automatically. And it will happen thanks to one of the sensors on A320, you can find it in the aft avionic compartment. And whenever the altitude inside of the cabin reach 14,000 feet, which is 4,260 meters, uh, this sensor will close and it will deploy these masks automatically. And this mask is connected to another device, which is inside of the ceiling. And that what all you need to do is pull this cable and air will start to flow. But let me explain what is this device above your head. Okay, this is chemical oxygen generator. You can find it over each passenger seat row. And in case of decompression, it can provide uh, pure oxygen for four people up to 15 minutes. And why only 15 minutes? This time is enough for pilot to descend to the flight level where is a breathable atmosphere. And after that, you can just remove your mask and breathe normally. How this device work? Inside of the container, you can find sodium chloride crystals and a few other chemicals which are activated by heat. And on this end, you will connect your oxygen masks and pure oxygen will flow from this part. And on this end, you have firing device and how this part works. Here you have a spring-loaded firing pin and it holds by retainer pin. Whenever you pull mask, doesn't matter, once is enough. Whenever you pull the mask, it will pull out the retainer ring, which will release firing pin, which will strike primer. And that one will ignite sodium chloride crystals. Thanks to this chemical reaction, uh, the pure oxygen is created and it will flow out of the generator. There is one disadvantage. The temperature of the generator can get up to 250 degrees of Celsius, but the generator is located about your head, so you don't need to be afraid of anything. But yeah, such a small device can provide oxygen for four people for 15 minutes. The next point is why they are never inspected, because once you activate the chemical reaction, there is no chance to stop it. So that's why we never test these devices. 
but they have expiry date like many other things. So every certain period of time we we'll just remove them and we'll install the new ones. So we really pay attention to safety. Different we approach was chosen on 787. Here we can find uh, pressurized cylinders over each passenger row. These cylinders are pressurized to 3000 PSI and we can find them in uh, three different sizes. The size of the cylinder depends of the amount of people which it can serve, which means that it can be from one up to six people. And another difference is that this whole system is controlled and operate electrically. Now let's take a look on oxygen mask itself. As we discuss, this end is connected to the generator and uh, this bag, what is it good for? Well, since oxygen generator is constantly providing fresh air and we breathe in and breathe out, the oxygen need to be stored somewhere. And for that reason, we have here that bag. Then inside you can find one way valve, which prevents air which you breathe out to get into the bag, but instead it is released to the outside atmosphere. And last, let me tell you a little bit about the function which we actually testing. We as engineers are testing the manual release function of the all these masks, which as we discussed before, you can find over each passenger row, but of course they're located inside of the toilet and of course above the flying attendant seats because they of course want to breathe as well. This function is uh, periodically tested and uh, for that we need to set all oxygen containers into test mode. Otherwise, after deployment, you will get something what we call rubber jungle and we want to avoid that. So that's why we are setting the containers into the test mode, which will prevent complete deployment of the door. But uh, it will show us that each and every container has been open. After manual deployment, you can also hear synthetic voice, which will constantly repeat the instruction regarding the oxygen system. This was more or less all about passenger and flying attendant oxygen system. If you want to know more about cockpit oxygen system, click on the link which is uh, up here or in the description below where you find the video which I made before this one. Uh, if you have any questions regarding topic, please uh, write them down in the comments below. Also, if you find a similar video where the things are not really properly explained, uh, send me link in the comments below or send link to Instagram account Zeto and I'll try to look on them and maybe make a video about the topic as well. Of course, I don't want to say that I'm smarter than those people. I'm just saying that I might be able to explain it to more details since I have access to more technical data. Well, that's all from my side. My name is Tomasz. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.